Once we have stripped all of the necessary components from our old broken S4 digitizer, we can then go ahead and take our new S4 digitizer and start to reassemble it with all of the internal components. First we can start by reinserting the headphone jack which sits at the top right of the phone. So then we can go ahead and reinsert the camera which goes on the left hand side make sure that there's no dust or particles inside this gap then we can go ahead and replace the speaker next there is a black insert which goes on top of these parts to keep them in place. Like so. And then we can go ahead and replace the vibrate motor which sits in place. Like so. Next we can go ahead and reinsert the bottom charger connector. Lift up this flex cable and place it down like so. We can then go ahead and thread this antenna cable down the digitizer. There's a small insert for it like so. We can then go ahead and attach this flex cable on the left hand side. The small one connects to the longer one. Then we can go ahead and take this metal connector and this simply holds the dock connector in place. Next we can go ahead and reinsert the motherboard. Lift up all of the connectors to make sure they do not catch when you're inserting the motherboard. Once we have inserted the logic board we can then go ahead and secure this with two small screws. First the black screw goes on the right hand side of the logic board And then the silver screw goes on the left of the audio flex or the headphone jack. That locks into place like so. Next we can go ahead and attach all of the flex cables to the logic board. The camera and the microphone audio jack, LCD and the antenna cable. like so. Next we can go ahead and reinsert the bezel on the S4. It simply clicks into place Once it's nice and smooth and there's no gaps, we can then go ahead and secure this with the screws around the bezel.
there's nine screws which go around this bezel. Once we have secured the nine screws, we can then go ahead and reinsert the battery. Start by the top and then push down on the bottom like so. And then we can go ahead and replace the plastic back cover. This will snap into place just like the bezel. There we go. Now all that's left to do is to test it. There we have successful Samsung Galaxy S4 LCD repair. Mm -hmm.